Hi, good morning. We are here today to talk about Combiner War Ultra Magnus, aka Minimus Ambus, aka the fully something 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 of the Terrestrial Accord. Uh, in IDW comic books, uh, they brought back the idea that Ultra Magnus's armor was, in fact, just armor. Something that they had done in Dreamwave before then, as well as the Generation 1 toy. Um, and inside this particular armor set, uh, for the IDW comic books, we did get Minimus Ambus. Um, now they had established eventually that there were a couple other lovely uh, load bearers, as they were called beforehand, but he's the one that was most prevalent and the ones that were involved with the stories that we read. All right, so who Minimus Ambus is, is he's basically your OCD rule-loving co-worker who can't catch a break or learn how to smile. Uh, he transforms into a minesweeper, and he's what is called a load bearer, meaning that he can load several tons of equipment onto himself, and it does nothing. For the toy, he is in his minesweeper mode, although it does look more like a Cybertronian car. There are no wheels, but let's get a look at the paint here. It is quite nice. It definitely looks like his coloring. Um, the underside, because it's so simple, you do see the full robot. Excuse me. Now, to transform him, it's real simple. Well, it should be real simple, but these things are really freaking tight, as you can see. I just broke his leg off. Um, they are really tight. Like, I don't think I've ever had a single Transformers toy with this type of joints before. I don't know if it's because I just got this used um, literally this week off of a Facebook sale, but uh, there we go. Again, he is really tight. He is really small, too. Just go ahead and take a look at him. Let's get his face back up here. Come on, camera. There we go. My camera does not want to focus. Come on. Oh, well. All right. As you can see, from far, far away, he does have the facial markings of House Ambus, and he does quite look like his comic book character. But I do want to show just how small he is. Um, let's go ahead and grab his fellow crewmate, Generation 1 Swerve, and we will also grab Target Master Nightstick, just to give a hint of size here. As you can see, he is rather tiny. Um, he is about the size of a Target Master from Generation 1 and slightly bigger than Generation 1 Micro Masters, none of which I have out at the moment. So let's go ahead and remove these guys. And we're going to go ahead and get to the main course here. So we're going to go ahead and take this. We're going to get rid of it. All right. Ultra Magnus is little car carrier mode, which is what he was. It looks like a nice update for the Generation 1 toy. The original one did transform into a car carrier. Now, it was, of course, a repaint from the Japanese toy of uh, Battle Armor Convoy or something like that. But what it was is simple. It did carry other Transformers. Um, now, he is smaller than the original Generation 1 Transformers. Um, the original one you could fit two to three of the regular car-sized robots on. This one looks like it's more meant for the Legends class. As you can see here, Hot Rod is too big to go on, and he won't even fit through the door back here. But he is meant more for the Legends class toys, I guess. None of which I have out at the moment, so we're not going to show that. Um, he does, of course, have this part here that does pull down, so you can have realistically drive them up and have them set. Otherwise, he is great. He is a fantastic looking update other than he's so small. Um, I have seen other reviewers be able to churn his cab. Mine is so tight on there that it is not churning. As far as looks, underneath, other than the legs, you don't get any hint that it is a transformer. If you can see in there, you can see his chest plate. And this, in his vehicle mode, supposed to sit right there, but I can't get him to stay there. Um, it happens. I'm going to go ahead and try to transform this. I've only done it once so far, so I'm not that good with it. <coughs> First, we're going to take off the guns. We're going to put them to the side. We're going to take off 
the shoulder missiles. Now, the original toy was only one missile per arm. This one went with two, and we'll get into the reason why in just a little bit. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look. We'll try to remember how to do it. All right, we're going to take this. We're going to open it up on both sides. Let's go ahead and pull that up. The feet are in the back, of course. Now, let's see. Oh, yeah. i got to kind of untab it and get the chest piece to untab, which is a little bit hard. There we go. Move that up. All right. Take these, bring them down. I'm not going to have a lot of room to do this with my backdrop. So, do, do, do. So the legs, there's a small tab you got to kind of pull out and twist down. This piece then goes up, folds in the back. The feet, okay, you want to move the feet before you move that part. The feet come up forward, it's on a double hinge. So you just kind of come up and snugly go in like that. Then again, you're going to bring this over. Tab, turn, it kind of just all forms at once. Come on. The arms, oops, you can't really get them in my shot here, but the arms are very Generation 1 forming. Go ahead and turn it sideways so you can see. Just like with the Generation 1 toy, you slide them up. Just tap this open up to make it easier. I just always forget to do it. Well, always this is my second time transforming it. This comes up, it's on double hinge, comes in, folds, got the hands. The hands do have articulation, by the way. Go ahead, flip them around, do the same thing. This time I'll open this up. Again, really tight. Like, really, really tight. Like, annoyingly tight. All right, so here we go so far. Let's go ahead and pull back here. So here we are so far with the toy. Now, unlike the Generation 1, or even some of the other Ultra Magnuses I've seen, this one, to form the head, is a little bit different. Let's see here. I'm going to have to grab a box to put this on so I can get you a better shot. <coughs> really should start doing these in advance, figuring out the angles. But, like I said, this is a learning experience for me. <coughs> so the head. The head is formed by opening up the chest here. You then bring this up. This whole assemblage comes up. Again, he's really freaking tight. It goes up like that. Now you'll see here, he's kind of got a throne. And that is for Minimus to come in and take over. And he does come in. He sits down kind of something like this. Come on, kid. I don't know how you guys make this look so easy. But you guys probably practice. I don't. When I see you guys, I mean the other reviewers out there. Alright. So you take this. You shut it. I said you shut it. His feet are still sticking out. And then the head comes down and goes right over Minimus. As you can see here, kind of looks like he's driving. It reminds me of the old Brain Masters. You then can take the missiles here and put them on the shoulder as Ultra Magnus always has his missiles. Again, this has two prongs instead of one missile. <coughs> now we have this come up. Oh, it's stuck. Lovely. It's making a liar out of me. There we go. Come on, kid. Alright, 
right, there you have the robot mode. Now, he does look like Ultra Magnus. He does have his cool little smokestack, shoulder stack, the missiles. The kick-ass, mean-ass chest. Where the hell did that dust come from? The legs formed out of his back trailer, especially the ro loading ramp. He does come with a couple accessories. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at that noggin. He does have a sunglass look, and he does look like kind of a steroid up top. And you know what we say. Can't say that on this video, never mind. Alright, he does come with two guns. Now, the, because of the way his hands work, he doesn't exactly hold his guns too well. And the reason for that is what the guns are supposed to also do. And I'll show you that in just a moment. Right, but if you bring this up... He doesn't really hold on to it. Now, he holds on to that one better than he does this one. See? He already dropped it. This one, I'm shocked he even stayed this time. The first time I tried playing with this, it immediately fell out and would not stay in. Um, but, yeah, you can't really pose it because the hands don't really grip it that well. So you basically get him holding out guns akimbo style like that. Which is nice. I mean, it does make him look a little bit armored, um, which Ultra Magnus, of course, is supposed to be armored. He's supposed to be the big guy, the tough guy, and the soldier. Um, I wish the guns came in white like his original figure, but hey, what can you do? Um, you can combine them together to form one big-ass gun. Looks kind of stupid. But the reason why you can combine them is it does a fun little homage to two other Magnuses. Take the missiles. Go ahead and combine them there. And all of a sudden, you get Magnus's Warhammer. Now, he does hold on to this a lot better. As you can see here, where my thumb is going, there's a small thing there. There's some grooves. It does kind of slide in so he can hold it. And voila, he has the Magnus Hammer. Uh, now, this is homaging two different Magnuses. And... The first one being Transformers Animated, where Ultra Magnus had this hammer that could summon lightning like Thor's Mjolnir, and it basically meant that he was the ruler of Cybertron. The other one he's referencing is Transformers Prime, who also came with a hammer. I don't think that one had any special abilities. I don't really remember. As far as the IDW comic books, he only ever used the hammer once, and that was during the trial of Megatron. But again, it is fun. Um, whatever you want to do, do it. I personally prefer him to have his missiles on his shoulders, as it looks more like Ultra Magnus that way. And let's go ahead and take it back out. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. And we're going to go ahead and just take this one away since I don't really like it. And go ahead and put this back in. Hopefully he holds it. I said hopefully he holds it. He doesn't want to listen. And there you go, there you have Ultra Magnus. And just to show you some size comparisons here, we're going to go ahead and get out some of his shipmates. Alright, first off, we're going to go ahead and grab Rodimus in this hot rod form. I wanted to try to keep it to Lost Light level, so I'm not going to combine him with his armor. Um, only to do my little homage there. So yeah, as you can see, he is tall. <laughs> he is about one and a half times the size of Hot Rod. Let's go ahead and grab oh, Swerve. And of course I will pull out Swerve, you can't even see on the shot. And we'll go ahead and grab Siege Megatron, because it's the only Megatron I have. But since he was the co-captain of the Lost Light, it does feel appropriate. And you can just see just how much taller he is compared to some of the modern taller toys. So let's go ahead and take this out. Go in the box and go ahead and take a look. Uh, see yellow Deadpool popping out down there with Gwenpool. All right, so he is quite large. Um, he's not one of my largest Transformers. He's not as big as a combiner. I actually think he'd be a little bit shorter than Rodimus in his combined mode. But otherwise, he is big. He is imposing. Um, I do like him better than the Generation 1 toy in that he actually looks like he's supposed to look like this. The original Generation 1 toy just looked like some dude was standing on a platform, and that's pretty much it. 
Kind of like when you go to like a beach or a carnival and they have those cutouts so you can stick your heads into, you know, take a couple steps up. But otherwise, fantastic little toy. Uh, joints are quite nice. <laughs> he does feel a little bit light and he is smaller than I would have liked in truck mode. In robot mode, he is quite impressive. I do love that they integrate Minimus in there. Um, if you can find it on the secondhand market, I got this one for... 25 I've been saying it sell for 75 to 120 um, so that's the review for this thank you very much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day